and welcome everyone, La Heart here with part one of my new changing Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving me early access to the Shadows of Change DLC so that I could start this campaign early for you guys. I'll be releasing this series every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday going forward, so make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell notification so you don't miss any of the uploads of this campaign going forward. Now, obviously, nobody's happy about the price of this DLC, myself included. The best possible deal I can offer you guys right now from my sponsor, Games Planet, is a savings of 19% off. It's in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. Use that link and then the coupon code CHANGE5 at the checkout to bring the price of the DLC down to around £16 or $20. US dollars. So if you want to pick up the DLC at launch and support the channel at the same time, then feel free to do that. But completely understand if you guys would rather wait until this DLC goes on sale and that brings the price of this DLC down to a more reasonable price. So let's dive on in to our campaign. Let's go through the faction effects, lord effects and other bits and pieces. Uh, playing this on very hard, very hard difficulty and this is a Realm of Chaos campaign with a changeling as I want to experience the more narrative focus objectives um, for this character for this campaign. If you want to see an Immortal Empire's Shadows of Change series, then I will also be streaming at the same time this video goes out a Jade Dragon Yuan Bo series as Grand Cathay. I'll be uploading that series here to YouTube every Monday, Wednesday and Friday with the first episode going out tomorrow, the 18th of August. So feel free to check that one out. Uh, whichever one of these series I finish first, I will then replace it with a Mother uh, or Stankia campaign, the new Legendary Lord for Kislev. So we're playing as the Changeling, the Deceivers. Uh, starting army, we have Zangors, two units of Blue Horrors of Zinch, Burning Chariot of Zinch, Cockatrice, Chaos Furies of Zinch, and Flamers of Zinch. Faction effects, we're immune to diplomatic penalties from trespassing. We can establish tricks to cults instead of occupying territory. We can replenish and recruit in foreign territory. And armies are hidden in regions with tricks to cult buildings. Lord effects can shapeshift in battle into other legendary lords and heroes. Start position, we're over in Nordland. So I'll be going after the Empire, also close to Kislev. Quick little look at the lore if you guys want to pause and have a read through that. But yeah, playing very hard, very hard. Uh, difficulties there. That's all we need to look at uh, there. So let's dive on in and begin our changeling campaign. Here we go. As the winds of change begin to stir, faint echoes can be heard. Carried on the breeze comes mocking laughter. With a flair for mayhem and an eye for trouble, the changeling leaves a trail of chaos in his wake. Each prank to be savoured. As he weaves his tapestry of despair, watching as the mighty fall by their own hand, the trickster's schemes spare no fate. Let the games begin. Deep within the realms of men, the Empire prepares to battle Cinch's trickster. But to what end? For this deceiver of gods is already many moves ahead, pondering more prestigious pursuits. The Elector counts, nay, Karl Franz himself is a most opportune target for manipulation, impersonation, and destruction. Whether as pawns or as demon fodder, nearby beast lords and ogre tyrants might also play a part in the changeling's schemes. He has no desire to supplant dominions here, only to topple them secretly from within. 
Many are the faces of chaos. <laughs> ten out of ten on the evil laugh there. Path to victory. The deceivers. The changeling thrives on sowing discord by enacting devious schemes across the world's theatres of war. Each theatre's minor scheme set the stage for its grand scheme, a chaotic culmination of mischief unraveled against the theatre's main power. The changeling must sufficiently destabilize the world via schemes in order to perform the most audacious prank of all, the ultimate scheme. Completing this masterstroke will earn the deceivers their campaign victory. So that's obviously the objective we're going for. Uh, learn more about Zinch factions here so we can see more about Zinch factions. Uh, it doesn't look like there is a how they play, just a path to victory, what their unique objective is. So if you've played uh, as a Zinch faction before in Warhammer 3, feel free to give me uh, advice, tips and tactics down in the comment section. Obviously, the Changeling has a very different and unique uh, play style. He doesn't take territory himself, but instead uh, builds cults underneath existing settlements. Uh, so we'll see all that in action in a moment. We've got our first mission, the Misdirection Within. Capture the following settlement and establish a trickster cult, Norden. Okie dokie, we'll gain a trickster cultist as a reward and plus 75 grimoires, which is one of our resources. Uh, grimoires, we need that for, I think, the changing of the ways. And then we've got cult supplies. Uh, they're primarily generated from infrastructure buildings in trickster cult settlements by, and by completing schemes. Cult supplies are used to construct trickster cult buildings. Okay, so we need them. We get them through building schemes, technology. Cool, cool, cool. A uh, quick little look at our objective then. I think so. We need to unlock and win three grand scheme uh, battles. And then we need to win the ultimate scheme battle. There is, of course, a domination victory. Uh, we won't be going after that. We'll just be completing uh, the main campaign victory uh, for this series. We've got our mission there. So let's have a look at schemes. So there are five theatres of war. I should say these also appear on Immortal Empires. And there's even more theatres of war on that because, of course, the map is way bigger. Uh, so I didn't realise that it would kind of play out... Um, the same on Immortal Empires, which is pretty cool. So if you want to be the absolute master of mayhem, pranks, and all sorts of mischief, uh, then uh, Immortal Empire is going to be absolutely mad as the Changeling. But yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we can actually go through all of the theatres if we want to and complete all five before we have to do the ultimate scheme. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll see how long it takes to complete three and obviously which, complete, which three we go for. Uh, I'm assuming we can kind of mix and match and do some minor schemes across all of them and then just complete three of the uh, the grand schemes. But I might, if, you know, we're enjoying it, we want to do more, and you guys are enjoying it as well, I might go through and complete all, all five. Because uh, why not? But yeah, the ultimate scheme, facing off against the Empire, and essentially completing these... Uh, grand schemes will determine the reinforcements we get, but also um, the enemy reinforcements that we can um, stop the enemy getting as well. Because currently they get all of those reinforcements if we were to go, if we were to somehow be able to go straight into that ultimate scheme. Um, and we don't get any reinforcement. We can actually see the reinforcements coming on in here. But by completing these grand schemes, or rather completing the minor schemes, and then the grand schemes, we can not only unlock the reinforcements for our faction in this final battle, but also we can remove some of the reinforcements for the Empire. So, God, Kislev, massive force there. Reichland, with Carl Franz coming in as well. Cathay. Oh, wow, the Dwarven force. That is nasty. We definitely want to stop that then. I mean, let's have a look at the Empire first of all. So, what minor schemes they got? Let's close that. So, Infestation, the Empire Destroy, the Festendites. That's uh, Festus. Of course, yeah, he starts up there, doesn't he? Not by the Brass Keep. Uh, Arcane Healing. Permanent, and it will stack effects, plus 10% casualty. That's really nice. It's like just a, These are all kind of like a series of just mini missions. Well, not even mini missions, but just a series of missions to go after. And there's lots of them. It's going to keep us very busy. I guess that obviously kind of explains why... The changeling has cults rather than any, you know, static uh, territory. Because if he had to be constantly defending actual territory, uh, he wouldn't be able to go off to all these different schemes. It's amazing. So we've got that one there. The Reichland Gambit. 
sack Altdorf or construct a ravaging host. Tier 5 loot building there. That unlocks a regiment out of steam. We can get a steam tank. Wow. Imperial subterfuge. Infiltrate any settlement in the Empire Theater with three. Oh, so we're going to unlock that actually straight away. And that's going to uh, lift the shroud. Uh, so the fog of war. Oh, wow. That'd be useful. Is that permanent? Surely not. Maybe for like a few turns. First step in any theater should be to sow the seeds of mayhem. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good one to go for early on. Um, target practice, win 15 land battles. If we complete that, we get veterans of change. Recruit rank plus two all armies. Again, it's the tricks reward, so it's permanent. That's mad. Uh, Sylvanian Rift. Raise inch corruption to 75 in Castle Drakadoff and maintain it until the following turn. That will open a trickster rift in Sylvania. Oh, so we can get rifts. I was thinking, actually, it probably must be some kind of teleportation or larger teleportation mechanic to get us around the map with all these uh, schemes to go after. Available trickster rift plus one. Permanently activated via technology panel. Okay, we'll check out technology in a moment. Uh, Bloodsucker's Bane. Immune to vampiric attrition. Nice. And the Unstoppable Shield win 12 battles against the following race, the Dwarves. We get Impervious Skin, 10% ward save. And once we complete uh, three, yeah, complete three to unlock the Grand Scheme. And then you need to complete at least half theater schemes and then win the Grand Scheme battle. The Empire will be unable to reinforce your enemies in the Ultimate Scheme. Empire's elect accounts will descend into Civil War. Damn. Obtain the form of um, a cold Hellbrass, if you don't already have it. He's the free LC, the free legendary lord. Uh, legendary lord, sorry. The free legendary hero that everyone will get uh, as part of patch 4.0. Uh, legendary hero. So I assume we'll get a mission to recruit him. I don't actually know how he unlocks as such. Uh, we get the ruined blade and we get another rift. Surplus supplies. 50 cult supplies per turn. Wow. So that's all of those. Um, North Wind Kids, I will try and go through these quickly. Otherwise, we'll spend all day just looking at these. Obviously, this first episode will be an hour long uh, so that we can go through all this stuff and dive into some battles and obviously get going. Uh, every 10 episodes, we will have a hour special as well. But we'll start off with a nice long episode today to get to grips with all the new mechanics and check everything out. Um, so this is North Wind Kislev. Dedicate the monolith Zinch. Oh, the monolith Katam. So that's similar to the Drakenhof one. Drakenhof, that Drakenhof one's actually going to be really difficult because of all the vampiric corruption there. We're going to need some forces in place and probably some cults. Winds of Magic plus 10 paternal armies. 12 battles against Norska. Deadly in, uh, equipment. Plus 10 armor all armies and plus 10 base weapon damage all armies. These are some really nice buffs. Obtain the forms of Wolfric the Wanderer and Throg if you do not already have them. Mutagenic Vaults. Sack the hell pit or construct a ravaging host. Scavenge laboratory materials. Unlocks a feral carnosaur. Regiment renowned. Amazing. And we get the form of Gorich. I kind of forgot that you can get... It's not just for legendary lords, the, the form change for the changeling. It's also uh, legendary heroes. And the enemy within infiltrate all three settlements. Kislev, Arangrad, and Prague with Trickster cultists. And that will give us obtain the forms of Zarina Katrin, Kostaltin, and Mother Ostankia if you do not already have them. Because I think you also get their, their forms if you just defeat them in battle or have an alliance with them. Uh, just cultists plus one. Nice. And Northern Machinations. Infiltrate any settlement. That's the same as this, uh, as the Empire and the Shroud gets um, removed. Then the Grand Scheme is Norsecan allies will support you in the Ultimate Scheme and they will form a warband. And invade Grand Cathay. Oh, I'd love to see those events fire off. Unlocks a regiment around the cold void. The frostworm. Oh, nice. Recruitment to ruin. More recruitment. Lovely. Grand Cathay. Raising corruption to 75. Nangal. Arcane healing. Even more. So if we stack that with Fest, that'd be mad. But getting over to Grand Cathay is going to be a bit difficult. That's the Shroud one again. Obtain the form of Deathmaster Snitch. By defeating him in battle or allying with his faction, you get the Warpstone Knife. Plagiarized papers, playing the form of Zhao Ming. We get Alchemist Notes, barrier hit points increases. Is that for the audience in the army? That's insane for Zinch. Destroy the Jade Court, get magical magic barriers. What if they're already destroyed? Invalid, I guess. Won't be able to get it. Like some of these you might have to rush towards to get. 
Uh, I'm thinking actually in this, if we want to get the form of Karl Franz, we're going to have to rush towards Altdorf because he normally gets wrecked by Scrag in the Realm of Chaos campaign. Income capacity buildings plus 10%. Oh yeah, you have symbiotic and parasitic cults uh, building types. Raise or sack all of those. Okay. There's a lot in cafe actually, aren't there? There's four. But you need to complete four schemes for this one. What's this? The Ivory Road Gift Store. Win 15 land battles and you get the Von Karstein Blade, which is wiggling about. That's a bug. Uh, early access build. Uh, Luminarch Lens as well. And then that one is Grand Cathay will be unable to reinforce your enemies in the ultimate scheme. Kurgan Warband will breach the Great Bastion, enabling Zinchian rebels to swarm the theater. I just I just want to see all this stuff happening. This sounds amazing. Mountains of Morn. Plunder. Income from sacking settlements. Win 12 battles against the Ogre Kingdoms. Okay. I mean, that's the Darklands, but would that also trigger if we went up against Scrag, I wonder? That might be one to check. <laughs> I don't know if it will work or not. Eliminate Grimgore in battle. Veterans of change, even more recruitment. Uh, Fate provides upkeep cost strike. That's great. Raise Zinch corruption 75 in Zarnagrand. <laughs> okay. And hang on, was that also cult supply? Oh, it was just plus 250. I was thinking that might be a plus 250 per turn. That'd be mad. Hellforge materials, if we obtain the form of Astrogoth Iron Hand. Missile strength plus 30%, all units in an army. Cult of smoke and ash. Shroud. Corrupted flame, if we eliminate eat. Imric. Have they had it? Has Imric always been in Realm of Chaos? Is he... Is that a new addition with the... Probably with the Chaos Dwarves, right? Yes, no, yeah, he was the, he was there with uh, the Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember, like, just though it has to face off against him early on. And then their grand scheme here is Greenskin allies will support you in the ultimate scheme. Greenskin laborers will rise up in rebellion against their overseers. Obtain the form of Gordot's backstab if you don't already have it. And another rift. Surplus supplies. And finally, the Chaos Waste. What have you got? Uh, demonic Bedfellows. Forge a defensive military alliance with the Oracles of Zinch. We get Unknown Champion's Cloak. Very nice. And another trickster cult is contacted. Infiltrate the Chaos Wastes. Um, infiltrate any settlement in the Chaos Waste Theater with a Trickster Cultist. Yeah, Shroud. Demonic Favor. If you infiltrate five provinces within the Chaos Wastes, plus 100%, uh, not 100%, plus 100 with uh, Demons of Chaos, Demonic Relations. Total Chaos, Total War, Recruitment to Ruin, more recruitment, 15 land battles. And what's this? Chaos Royal Rumble. Defeat the Exiles of Corn, the Pox Makers of Nurgle, and the Seducers of Solanesh. Oh, you get the Chainsword! Oh, that's sick. And you get Mysterious Leader as well. Oh, I want it. You become... A... Oh, that's absolutely mad. And what's the grand scheme here? Zinchin allies will support you in the ultimate ket in the ultimate scheme. Uh, Zinch will unleash waves of demonic rebels against his rivals in the great game. Obtain the form of the Blue Scribes, if you don't have it already. The Blue Scribes are the legendary hero for Zinch. Now, again, I don't know how we actually recruit them. I'm assuming we get some kind of mission or objective at some point triggering for that. Armed knowledge. Grimoire's per 10, 100. That's mad. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, we probably want to be going through either the Empire or Norsker and Kislev first. I'm kind of thinking the Empire. I actually want to rush on down and defeat Franz to get his... Um, his form. So we can actually see all the forms here. Formless horror. Uh, I assume it tells us how we get them. Unlock this catch this form. You must defeat them in battle or form an alliance with them. They may also be unlocked by certain schemes. Okay. Franz, tell me how to get you. Defeat them in battle. Yeah, so we need to rush down before Scrag annihilates you. And I think with the Kislev one was that. Feral Carnosaur, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one was the, will be, that was the forms of Zarina Catherine Costout and Mother Oz. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Okay. There isn't one to get the form of Franz, is there? If we I can't get to him in time. Probably much easier to get his form in Immortal Empires. But, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll aim to go for Franz first. So, we'll go for these schemes here. So, we're going to complete that one in Imperial Subterfuge, Land Battles. Sack, if we can sack Altdorf as well, or construct the Ravaging Host, if I have loot building, then we get the Steam Tank, which would be amazing. Try and knock out Festus. Um, we don't need to complete all of them, but it'd be fun to do so. And getting these rifts as well. Um, oh, parts of the map are... Ah, is that must be the rift? 
Trickster Rift Locust. Can be opened by completing the Sylvanian Rift Scheme. Okay, well, that must be in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Trickster Rifts. Actually, I'd never looked at Fate Weaver's tech tree, or at least if I have, I can't remember what it looks like. So I'm assuming this all looks very different for the changeling right now. So yeah, this opens one. For that, you need a Trickster Rift must be available. Like, we have to unlock them, don't we? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, Trickster Rifts. Again, following the completion of certain schemes, open via technologies. Right, yes, we need to have them. And Trickster Cultists. We can use them to summon the Trickster Cultists in the Empire Theater. Okay, so we can just get another one. Because I'm pretty sure they can actually immediately create a cult. So there'll be a good way of setting up new cults away from wherever the changeling is. Conquering. Um, well, I say conquering. Creating cults. Uh, where are the tricks? So let's get, the, get that straight away. Uh, cult supplies, 10 per turn. Grimoire's 10 per turn. And cash replenishment, plus 10%. Uh, probably going to go for Master of Scheming next. Because that unit experience gain, plus 100. And then plus 50%. That's going to be mad if we combine that with... Um, our, uh, our horror here because I'm pretty sure you have tricked. Yep, you do. It's not a lot, but the sooner we do that, the better. We will go for Root Marcher first, but then we'll definitely go for Inspiring Presence because that's another plus 75 experience. We're going to be getting so much experience per turn. It's absolutely mad. So yeah, Changing of Ways is what we need Grimoire's for. We need to do research up through the Changing of Ways to unlock all of them. They've changed it so it's no longer Halt to the whole faction that you can do. It's just Halt an individual army, but I think that's fine. Forcing Rebellion could be fun as well. I wonder if that's a way to bring back uh, factions, or is it a Force of Rebellion, like a Zinchin Rebellion or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we will find out. We can spread corruption, though. Should we spread, should we spread some corruption? Here, yeah, do we need it for anything else? Oh, no, we, we need more grimoires. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, technology, we have a quick look at. Diplomacy, we are all with Nordland. Black Pit Tribe, we've got non-aggression because we've actually already got a cult with them. Let's have a quick little look at that and we'll dive into this first battle. So we've got Trickster Cult that's shown by that symbol there. Have a look at their building tree. So from far as I'm aware, there aren't any settlement line buildings. So you don't actually have to, you don't ever lose a slot to a, to a dedicated settlement line building. When you choose to turn into either a symbiotic or a parasitic uh, cult, um you will randomly get i think either like the limb breakers lair or the uh, raiders bounty to start with i think it might be one of those or it might always just be that one whereas um symbiotic you get either the agent's hollow or the disguised trade from my initial kind of look over these buildings and kind of what's going to work well you probably want disguised trade in um in settlements that can earn you um decent bit of money probably definitely provincial capitals because you'll you'll increase the amount of money that that settlement's already making and then you'll siphon more away from it whereas the um parasitic ones here raiders bounty line that reduces the income from the building and generates you up to a maximum of 450 i think that'll be useful in places like norska um because the Norskans don't tend to actually have very high income generating buildings. Especially in a lot of their minor settlements. We might want to put some of these in some other factions minor settlements as well. Um, but the, it has higher discoverability. Whereas at all the symbiotic ones actually lower discoverability. And then you've also got some other buildings in here like this. Start Ritual. So plus 100. So you need to make sure you've got some of the other symbiotic ones to lower it down. Because I think 100 is the threshold. But if you, get, if you build that up... Um, to the Legion of the Changeling, it spawns in a army. It's not a full stack as far as I'm aware, probably about a half stack. Uh, you do have to pay for their upkeep uh, the moment they spawn in, but that's another way of kind of getting new armies, which is good fun. Then destroys the building and you can build something else there. Uh, or I don't know if it just cancels the upgrade and you have to build it again because it takes 10 turns. Um, but that's fun. The parasitic version of that is it summons a demonic rebels. So I think actually potentially that, that one may be more useful just because it doesn't actually... I'm assuming it doesn't cost you any upkeep because I'm assuming it's a rebel army, as it, as it suggests, demonic rebels rather than actually an army under your control. But that will go after absolutely everyone. Um, but yeah, all sounds really cool ways of just causing maximum mayhem and mischief. Um, we can get some more units there. Probably not going to spend anything just yet. That's an ally. Uh, do or orcs probably don't have like the best income generation. We can flip to the settlement details here. It does have a port though. I'm wondering if I might flip, because we can flip this over. You can't have both in a settlement. You can only have one or the other. Um, we are getting more money through that being that one right now. So I'll probably leave it as is. 
I could build Agent's Hollow, though, for more supplies. And, yes, you've also got a chance of increasing hidden expansion, yeah. Kind of, like, similar to, again, Skaven spreading out there under Empire. That's 6%, but if we go for the Parasitic version, that can go up to a maximum of 12%, so probably just want to spam out a load of them. Especially, actually, up here, but then you need maintenance cost minus 300, so you probably combine that with the bloody vault. That's 450. That's guaranteed to still be 150 up from the cost of that one. But if you have both of those, that's you're going to be at 100. So you need to combine that then with some symbiotic bits and pieces. So we'd need to have that one in there. That would be minus 30. So yeah, you'd be able to, you'd be able to pull it down. Uh, or you could go for that one, but that does still increase discoverability, just not as much. And has a lower maintenance cost as well. Uh, yeah, we'll leave all that and we'll come back to it in a minute. Let's complete this first uh, mission. I've just seen we've got a, a sea corpse over there, so I may want to go over that. Uh, of course, a, a Leviathan. We're going to need to build up our army, though, because that could be a pretty a nasty force. So we probably can't do that straight fish. away. I'm also thinking, I know we want to go down... Well, I said I want to go down for Altdorf. A Rengrad's just over here, and that will be worth a decent oh, bit of money if we can get someone in there. In we go. It is very much all resolvable, but we are going to fight this one because I want to see the changeling in action. So in we go. So much to take in. It's like... Play plenty of Warhammer 3 campaigns before and then brand new faction with some very different faction mechanics. Blows it all out the water. I mean, at least some of the elements are similar to, you know, kind of that kind of Skaven undercity building and, and what have you. And you've obviously got the one building cancels out the other, similar to, um, well, kind of similar to um, Cathay with their harmony balance and stuff like that. But I think, isn't there another faction that has buildings where you build one and it stops you building the other? I think it is Cathay, isn't it? You have to choose to actually switch it, right? I think Cathay's the one I'm thinking of. But yeah, it's definitely a very different, it would seem, play style compared to... Uh, Chaos Fate Weaver. But I'm going to send the Chaos Furies up there. Got the Burning Chariot, which I will have over here. And the Flamers, I'm going to have you guys out in front. We'll have a look at all these guys in a minute. Actually, no, I'm put the Chariot there. Uh, we've got the Tantagores. Quick little look at these guys before we put them in the trees, because they've got Vanguard. They're what, like, Zinchian Beastmen. Or Beastmen Corrupted by Zinch. Probably get a... a, a good number of these guys actually in my army is to start with because of the vanguard deployments quite useful they've also got um arcane charge nearby allies or enemies cast spells it ups their base attack and their armor piercing and they've also got primal fury the ship is higher than 50 percent of base it enables it which is quite nice Obviously, they've all got barrier because Zinch. Uh, let's go pop you guys up in the trees here and then send you guys down. Let's have a look at the changeling. And obviously, this chap. I guess you're our Tim. We always have a Tim the Enchanter. And I think that's him. There he is, the changeling. Can't wait to see his animation. So, he's got three arms on his left side. Although, is that... Is that I mean, it's, it's an arm. Is that a hand, though? It's just like a fingers melded into a mouth. Nom, 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 nom. It's hungry. He's got his staff. Nice scroll. Oh, what, are you, what are you getting out of there? What are you munching? Oh, a book. As you do. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Right. As much as I love the other Chaos God factions, particularly Korn, and I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but I think Zinch might rapidly become my new favourite. I know he's a spellcaster, but with Barrier, it should make him not as squishy. I'm kind of thinking I'd quite like to see him in battle and see what his combat animations are like. But yeah, I want to move forward with the Flamers. Blast away. We have one unit of actual melee infantry, I've just realised. What are you lore of, actually? Your lore of, uh, lore of metal. 
Okay, so I'm going to flank you guys around to hit the uh, crossbows. Bring you guys out here. Go forward a bit more. Right, let's just send the changeling right into the general. Drop that on them because worst case is they move, which means they can't stand there and fire. If they don't move because they're too busy firing, they'll get hit by the spell. When he goes, let's just get this through here. Nice. Oh, what was that hand? Oh, damn. Okay, we need to come back and have a look at you. Let me just set everybody else up for their attacks. What's this? Oh, there's the hand. Oh, it grabs him. Oh, and pulls him down. Okay, that's awesome. I'm sorry, Corn. I think I found my new favorite. Who's everybody's favorite Chaos Faction? Let me know in the comment section. You guys look like you're having fun. Hit him with some of that. Furies keep chasing. Cockatrice. All about that big bird boy energy. Do you wanna do you wanna go munch? Ooh, nice, nice. Like spin. A nice changeling warm up. That guy's kind of like just casually rocking side to side. Oh, down he goes. Boom, pops back up. Oh, and he does like a triple blast with his three arms. Nice. Good spin, mate. No, we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we? Oh, we can end the battle. As far as I'm aware, don't really need to chase him down. We lost three. Rip. Rip those three. A changeling. He just wants to give you a hand. Nice. In a bit of favor. We got some grimoires as well. Nice. And then we can, yeah, create a symbiotic trace to cult or a parasitic. But I assume we can just, it just determines the starting building that you get. I'm, gonna symbiotic. I'm not sure I'm going to do that for that many, like, parasitic ones. Probably except for Norska. Go symbiotic for now. So scheme executors. There we go. So the shroud will be lifted in the theater, revealing all terrain. Nice. Uh, mission successful. Trickster cultist recruited. Trickster cult established. Mission issued. A new one. New tricks. Use your trickster cultist to establish trickster cult in any settlement. Um, Zinch will grant a random form for the changeling to assume. Oh, cool. And 50 grimoires. Where's Where's Altdorf? There's Franz. Yeah, let's see if we can go down there and take him out and defeat him before Scrag takes him out. I mean, if we go through South Zenman, Middenheim, knock out Toddy, that'd be great. And then I get, we definitely want to go with, like, uh, Marienburg, because that'd be worth a load of gold. We'll have to come back for a Rengrad. I don't have the money just yet. So, is that... Oh, it doesn't count as a cult up there. I'm assuming this one's just been spawned in rather than unlocking one. So, yeah, you're, you're just a unique... One that can establish a military trickster cult. I assume that just gives us a military building, a parasitic, or a... Actually, no, I could use you for Irangrad then, couldn't I? Because I could just take over Salzenmund. 
Not with a massive garrison. My Sigma, no. Why not? Bringing bedlam. Oh, what's this symbol? This army is hidden from enemies. Ah, oh, mate. Oh, yeah, because of course, yeah, armies are hidden in regions with Trickster Cult. So the moment we're in a region, <sighs> that's awesome. Can I get, get more of these? So, yeah, just go ham. Yeah, let's send you to Arengrad. Because right now, obviously, you're not getting a lot, but you should eventually. And actually, aren't you... Um, don't we need that for one of these? Yeah, Arengrad. Infiltrate all three with cults. Poi effect. Uh, go symbiotic again. New form, Wolfric the Wanderer. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, 100% Always gripping that. Um, and ski. Oh, right, and we've now got vision over Kislev as well. So what have you got? You've got the Parliament of Lies. With settlement owner over time. Uh, it's not exactly the one I was kind of hoping we'd get, to be fair. Um, oh, I've got these at tier three. Nice. That's going to get... Yeah, let's get 415. And it increases their income a bit as well. So they've actually benefited from that. That's great. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd get that one. Yes, yeah, so you can have... You can Well, not just any of the three. I thought it was those three. You can have any of the four. I don't think you can have, yeah, those ones, but any of the other four other lines of buildings you can get, which is pretty cool. Um, improves relations over time. Um, I mean, who is it? Sister is it? Is it really ice. gonna? I mean, let, let's see. If not, we'll um, assume destroy it will give us some money, right? Yeah, 1,500. Okay. Leave it for now. Um, yeah, probably won't build any of this where we get our buildings from just yet. What is our discoverability? Minus 70. Oh, right, because that one's so fully upgraded, right? Ah, uh, so what we could do here is spawn a demonic army. That could be kind of cool. Or well, ravaging ho. Settlement is plundered upon building, stealing wealth and damaging the owner's buildings. I mean, the thing is, I don't really want to lose. I want kids have to hold on to this. I kind of actually want to be nice to it. We do want to spread the cults around, though, so I could build this one. Does cost my 100, though. But let's chuck that in there for now. Nice. That's great. Um, that but you leveled up. Root Marcher, then we're going to that. Uh, quest, you've got the Trickster Staff at rank 12. Deceiving Shadows creates an image of the Changeling. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah, Formless Horrors. Who've we unlocked? We've unlocked Wolfric, so let's assume him for battle next time. I didn't go through his skills, did I? Uh, obviously, he's got the usual lot. Through his uh, yellow line here, Red Hot Jape is one to keep an eye on because um, you access the assumed form's battle abilities uh, using Formless Horror. Campout movement range plus 20% after winning a battle. So keep on going. I mean, all of these are these are just great. So it's all buffs and bonuses for while you're transformed. More armor, charge bonus and speed. For the win, that's for your spells. Ammunition will transform. Uh, melee attack. Top of the class spell intensity. So it just makes your spells more powerful. And 1,000 faces. Which, uh, so access the assumed form spells. So just, yeah, the ultimate powerhouse there with access to whatever form that you take on whatever for whatever spells they have um obviously got the law of zinch and then his top yellow line uh adherence of the trickster cultist action reduction passive guardian for lords and embedded heroes um parasitosis upkeep minus 20 percent when an enemy or raise territory uh, and plus 25% upkeep for enemy armies in local province. Uh, enemy cash replenishment rate is reduced and increases uh, our replenishment rate by plus 5% when an enemy or raised um, territory. Does that... Oh, you can get both of them, I think. 
Uh, Symbiosis request army cost minus 50%, allegiance points gain plus 50%, upkeep cost minus 50%, allied armies in local province. That's really good for allies, damn. Um, but I feel like with this, you're going to definitely, it feels like there's a, yeah, more allegiance point gains. You definitely want to play into that system and make some allies because then you can utilize even more armies. So you're not exactly, I don't think you're going to be an, ever be an economic powerhouse with the changeling, but you want to manipulate um and trick and deceive and do whatever you got to do to gain extra forces and power through other factions in the game which is pretty cool i come in peace no really reload time reduction plus 25 percent wow uh recruited via allied recruitment excluding zinch units and um, allied recruitment cost minus 50 percent faction wide the buffs there are insane first come first served more movement range now you see me reinforcement range and stalk lord's army that is disgusting. I think you're my new favorite. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Uh, Orb of Zinch is with this guy. Um, I mean, for now, I'm just going to pop in Tim. The Enchanter. And you guys can suggest better names for our Tim. It probably won't go until part three because uh, I'm... So essentially pre-recording this first episode, part one and part two, which will be out on obviously Thursday the 17th and Saturday the 19th. And the next episode will be part three Tuesday uh, next week, which will be the 22nd. Uh, hopefully by then as well, part three, we can not only change up um, Tim's name a little bit to suit our Zinch playing through here with the Changeling, but also we'll have a full stack army and we can add in unit name suggestions. Uh, unit name suggestions for the series, just here on part one. Uh, just specify the specific unit you're suggesting them for. And then, yeah, go crazy. But yeah, keep them all here on part one. That way it's nice and easy for me to find them all. Um, we've got those guys in there. So, Norden. Am I going to go symbiotic here? We've got that one there. Getting, I'm getting more than what they produce, but actually, if we converted it over, uh, you don't get 100% no until you get to that one. Damn. Yeah, it's because that one came in at tier three. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Would give me a little bit. We're already getting 150. That's from the whole province, though, isn't it? I mean, they've got the potential to make it bigger, but these are all going to get taken out by Norskins, aren't they? So it might just be better to do that early this early on actually and then counteract it by shuffling for the agent's hollow to counter the discoverability penalty uh do you want to get some military stuff that's yeah, that's the point because i want to try and take them out of cells cells endmund I need to draw that army out. They're just going to build that up, though, aren't they? Of and we don't want to face a, f a force in there as well. Unless I just ignore it for now and make my way down. I am Prince and Emperor. Okay, we've got to try and draw the out Emperor. Franz. I don't know if it would be possible. I want to get myself into too much trouble just yet. But thankfully, because we can hide, that's great. Um, what can we get here? What would we want to go for? That would be one fight. It's probably... Oh, what's this line? What's this red dude do? Ugh. You get me all the horrors. Alright, oh, there's another building for... Right, troops. Discoverability there goes up. That gives me marauders, which wouldn't be terrible. Let me... Yeah, let me chuck that in there. We're definitely going to need de and some blue building at some point. Discoverability, I would have thought, when we start doing all the upgrades. That's going to hurt. Right, I think we are ready to finally end the turn, so let's do it. Technology, technology researched. Lovely. So we'll still be hidden here. Yeah, they're building up. All I can recruit are these guys right now. No. Sigma. Business. I can't. Oh, wait, how's the whole teleport stance work? Can I can I still teleport ambush? Is that still a thing? 
Can I jump on people's faces that way? Master of Scheming, I want to go for all that unit experience. <laughs> what lords can we get? Chaos Sorcerer, Lord of, of Metal, Z and Lord of Zinch. And then Heralds of Zinch. Can these guys get turn into... No, they just say like that, though, right? They don't turn into uh, demon princes or anything, do they? Always scheming. Uh, yeah, go for training. Lovely, yeah, just all of that. Max it out. Haven't got any active missions. Oh, right, yeah, so it was just for a turn, was it? Reveal Shroud. Yeah, I definitely want to get that soon too because that's be that'll be useful to see what's going on with Franz unless I can get an agent down there. I want to see the changeling is Wolfric now. I get Haunter. Yeah, they're just going to build on up, aren't they? Okay, so I might move. I could try and move past you. I'll ignore that. Deceiver. I can recruit more troops. So, you know, what? I'm just going to recruit on up as well. Um, I've got the money for it. Uh, Anti-large. Yeah, wouldn't be terrible. I mean, we've got these guys. Let's get another two of them and then we'll get a load of you in. Then I can always just go and do that C-Corps actually as well. You're in there. It's a chance now. 4% per turn to spread it. Boom. Such a, such a different feeling campaign. What next? Although if we're lucky, actually, maybe you guys will come on in and attack. Dress as a we try and make you guys, keep you guys alive, couldn't we? Yeah, actually, I'll do non-aggression with you guys in return for oh, some money. I'm hoping you might have a little bit more than that. Maybe not. Look at my horns. They are long and tall. <laughs> Look at my horns. They are long. <laughs> I won't worry about any of that just yet unless we're really desperate for cash. Because, yeah, we don't want to face that now, but that's that's fine. We'll go after um, the Sea Corps. Just recruit my final three units, um, which I reckon... Spears, yeah, for against some cav or something like that. I've only got enough money for that. Unless. Yabagoo to you too. Come on, it's Hagelheart X10 here. I am desperate, yeah. Give me a gold. I am Throt, the Unclean. Nice. Right, full stack army. So we maybe once those guys move out soon, or the orcs move in. Oh, did they just go for them? It's a problem I can't see. Faster, faster. No. They just swap troops over, or they maybe they're at war with somebody else. We are more than mortal. Right, we'll go after that. Oh wow! When did that happen? We got one in Castle Alexandrov. Amazing. And yeah, we definitely want that. Amazing it's spread with only, with only a four percent. Beautiful. There's Kostaltin. Kostaltin Great stuff. Oh, yeah, they've moved. Ah, oh, in Force March as well. I wonder if can I... Gordon's garrison is back. I refuse. Chaos incarnate. I could turn around and hit you. No. 
Highway scheming. I actually, I, if anything, actually, I want to catch the army out in the field, though, don't I? Because we need land battles, and that won't count from a settlement battle. So let's go in here. But we just finished that one. Okay, let's go for... I wanted to get the reveal shroud. So what's that way of scrying transfer settlement? And then straight into that one. Yeah. Can I, can I do any of this now? I can spread corruption, yeah. Wait until I'm back on land. Ignore that. I mean, this could be a bad idea because it could be what you call them. Change of I mean, it'll be Vampire Coast, right? Oh, okay. Close victory. Low casualties. I'm going to lose one of those. I reckon I'm not if I fight it myself. So in we go. Let's get some booty. Some loot. Blue horrors. I think I do. Just about. Ah, sha, whoosh, sha. Ah, it's annoying. I can't have them further up. I'll just pop them in here and get them all hidden as well. There we go. Changeling. I feel like I can. At least at the moment with the barrier, be fairly gung ho with you. All that. Out of nowhere. If I can maybe draw them to me. Oh, and we can go into Wolfric, can't we? Shifting okay, definitely. Let's Wolfric this thing up. Boom. You guys go. Get them and then get out. Quick, 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 quick. Back in you come. Get him, chariot. Beautiful. Get him, Wolfric. Keep bombarding them. Flame on. Nice. Straight into these guys. Shredded. 
Oh, you're not a spell cast, are you? Come on, do. Back to Changeling. We got him. Oh, there's the hand again. Beautiful. Bye-bye. Oh, a delight. That was great. Decisive victory. Fourteen losses. However, will I cope? So we can get even more replenishment. We can get more favor. Probably. I mean, a replenishment really not needed. Uh, go for the favor. Go for the gold. Oh, look at that loot post battle. Give me more. Death for recognition. Oh yeah, I can technically be seen now, can't I? if they would come and attack me. Uh, now you can't see me. Ah, ah, ah. Who shall I be right. Inspiring presence. Definitely. And then I could go through this. So I've got their battle abilities. Can I? But I kind of want some more spells. Although we've got we've got our spellcaster. Yeah, I kind of understand now. I was thinking initially, why does the changeling have a spellcaster lord to start with? But it makes sense because he's going to be changing to all sorts of characters early on. So yeah, let's go through his yellow line. Mortal foibles. And you, you can just go through all the spells. Yes, yeah, so you've got that one going in there. Um, I want to pop in that to keep spreading it around. Do you want to get more? More of those probably wouldn't be terrible. I could grab more of this though. Generate me some more cash. Five turns. It's going to take a while. Um, what do we need? I wasn't actually sure, was I? Well, I was thinking I could maybe go cause some trouble, but I don't really want that. I could get another army, but it's... Yep, I'm just going for supplies for now. Just because I don't think I can... Well, I can't... I can barely afford my own army right now. I don't think we can afford uh, another one. Keep an eye on Altdorf. I really want to try and get Franz, but that might just be a... That might just be a pipe dream. Uh, where have they gone? Back to Salzem and probably... Ooh, looks... I don't know if that just kind of refired back up on the map or what. I mean, you're hidden, so... From uh, I can't quite watch. see. Uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds, please. We do enjoy that one. Of his throne. Why do we get so much money? I know not why the others hate my tricks, sir. Background income is three thousand, right? Um, where do we? 
Get all that. Bit confused as to why I got it. Someone in the comment section let me know. I'm sure you'll have, I'm sure you'll have spotted what's going on, right? Yeah, let's increase our chance to spread it. Not not there, because it's region based, right? Adjacent region, yep. Yeah. We want it to shuffle. Good, 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 good. A delight awaits. I feel like you don't get notifications that trickster cult spreads. So I need to constantly look around, keep an eye on it. Okie dokie. Got oh, the back. <laughs> Does mean Sal's Edmund's open though. By Sigma, no. So I can go straight in and hit it. Oh no, I can't. Can't quite reach it. Nuts. Not likely. I could go in for you. I just don't know if I'm powerful enough, especially with the fact that you'll get a garrison, and I don't want to hit my own one because I'm pretty sure all I can do is just raise it. Uh, which I guess with what we've got in there would be fine. I, am everyone. Uh, I mean, what I could do, no I could surely go and sit in ambush. Two infinite outcomes. And then maybe catch them as they go through because I'm also hidden, so they just Surely that's the ultimate ambush. They're surely going to move back across because this guy's coming along. Uh, I think I'd rather this point. I'd rather just save up for upgrading those, but I do. I need that for more cult supplies. Let me get that in. Deceiver. Brands, you still alive? Yes. Good. They're going to do, they're going to try and jump back because they see these guys. Yes, we got the ambush. <laughs> Perfect. That's amazing. Right. Well, I mean, again, it's such victory, low casualties. I think we're just going to enjoy a little bit of changeling carnage to open next episode with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. Again, a reminder, it'll be released every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday going forward. So you've got your next upload coming out this Saturday. Also, I'll be uh, streaming a Yuan Bo, Jade Dragon, Grand Cathay Immortal Empires campaign uh, this Thursday the 17th when this video first went out. And from that, that should hopefully give me three episodes, first of which will go out on Friday. You'll also get a second upload of that on Sunday and then another upload on Monday and then from next week it'll be Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays for the Jade Dragon series. So I hope you guys are enjoying my Shadows of Change content. Uh, let me know your thoughts what you've seen so far. Until the next one, hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Take care and ciao for now.